Hello students, welcome to FY PAC class. Today we are going to discuss about the kinetics of bacterial growth, logistic growth model from the FY PAC microbiology syllabus paper MD122 microbial cultivation and growth. The learning objectives of this lecture is to understand what is microbial growth, the kinetics of bacterial growth that is logistics growth. Now you are aware with the bacteria. So we can define the growth of bacteria as if there is orderly increase of all the chemical components of the cell. So multiplication of the cell is also a consequence of the growth and there will be increase in the number of bacteria which make up a population or the culture of that particular bacterial cells. So this bacteria they will divide by the process of binary fusion. Now in this process this, when the cell will undergo the division then it will produce Two daughter cell. These two daughter cells, they are identical to their parent cell. So, bacterial growth can be equated to cell number, where one bacterial cell will divide to give rise to two bacterial cell. Two cells, they can produce four cells. Four cells can produce eight number of bacterial cells, and so on. So, we can measure the growth rate of a bacterium by measuring the change in bacterial number per unit time. So what is the growth kinetics? So growth kinetic it can be used to define the relationship between specific growth rate and the concentration of the substrate. It is the basic tool which is used in microbiology to study growth kinetics. Now, next concept is the growth curve. So, growth curve is a graphical representation where how a particular quantity of or how the particular number of cell will increases over time. What is the use of this growth curve? So, growth curves can be used to determine the type of growth pattern which was followed by that particular organism. So let's discuss about the growth kinetics. The growth kinetics is the mathematical expression of the growth. So the advantage of this growth kinetic they can be used to calculate the generation time of individual organism. And to calculate the generation time, we require the following data. That is, how many number of cells are present at the beginning, the number of cells or the organisms which are present at the end of given time interval and the time interval. These three These three are the important factors which we can use to calculate the generation time of individual microorganisms. So, the relationship of the cell number and the generation can be expressed by using the following equation. Now, our experiment will be started with a single cell, that is, within that broth, only a single microbial cell is present. So, to calculate the total population which was denoted by symbol B at the end of given time period. So we can calculate as B that is the total population is equal to 1 into 10 raise to N. Now what is 10 raise to N that is the bacterial population after N generation. So it's not possible for the microbiologist to inoculate a single cell within the broth. So, when we inoculated or if we have added microorganism, then several thousands of bacteria, they are introduced into the media at zero time and therefore formula will become Bn that is the number of organism after n generation is equal to 
B0 into 10 raised to n. Now, what is B0? B0 are the number of organisms at zero times. Bn indicate the number of organisms after n generation, and n will indicate the number of generation. So, solving the equation for n, we have log Bn is equal to log B0 plus n logarithmic of 2. logarithm of bn that is the logarithm of number of organisms after n generation log b0 indicate the logarithm of number of organisms at zero time plus n that is the number of generation multiplied by logarithm of 2 so when we have calculate it for the number of generation that is n then equation will become log bn minus log b0 upon log 2 so by using this equation we can calculate the number of generation that is the n for that you must be aware with the initial population which was indicated by b0 and the population that is the bn after n generation and after type the generation time which was denoted by the symbol g is equals to the t now what is t time will time elapses between the b0 and the bn and that one is divided by the number of generation that is n so generation time is equal to t divided by n is equal to so here we have to substitute the value of n so the equation will become t into log 2 divided by log bn minus log b0 now in addition to the previous method we can also make the use of alternative method to describe the bacterial growth in terms of the mathematical forms so the rate of increase in bacteria at any particular time is proportional to the number of bacteria which are present at that time so here we are going to make the use of new term that is a rate of in growth which was denoted by the symbol k that one is also called as the exponential growth rate constant and it is denoted by the symbol k so the growth rate how we can calculate is so the growth rate it's the number of generation which was divided by which was denoted by n per unit time therefore the re growth rate we can calculate it as by using the formula k is equal to n upon t now here you have to substitute the value of n so after substituting the value of n the equation will become log of bn minus log of b0 upon t into log of 2 so the time it takes for the population to double in size that is to calculate the mean generation time or the mean doubling time which was denoted by the symbol g so if the population will doubles then t is equal to g that is the doubling time or the generation time so the equation will become bn that is the number of organism after n generation is equal to double the number of organism which is initially present within that flask so bn is equal to 2 into b0 so after substituting the value of bn that is 2 b0 within the mean growth rate equation so the equation will become k is equal to now here we are going to substitute the value of bn so log 2 b0 minus log b0 divided by 0.301 g so we can solve it as log 2 plus log b0 Minus log b0 divided by 0.301 g, k is equal to 1 upon g, or we can also calculate it as mean generation time is equal to 1 divided by growth rate constant. So the mean generation time 
is the reciprocal of the mean growth rate constant. We can determine the mean generation time that is G by using the semi logarithmic plot of the growth data and we can also calculate the growth rate constant from the G value that is the mean generation time value. So, for this, you can refer a textbook on, textbook on microbial cultivation and the growth published by the success publication. And authors are Dr. Sunita H. Patil, Dr. Sucheta N. Patil and Prajakta Pachorkar. Thank you.